Ever wondered what happens when you combine the raw power of a muscle car with the practicality of a station wagon? The rare American V8 muscle wagons were legends of their time, giving the feeling of driving sports cars. These rare beasts combined raw power with practicality, creating some of the most unique and coveted vehicles in history. But what makes them so special? Let's find out. In this video, we are counting down the top five rarest and most incredible American V8 muscle wagons of all time. So let's get started. Number five, 1973 Chevelle SS 454 wagon. When most people think of the Chevelle SS, they picture the iconic 1970 model with its aggressive styling and earth-shattering power. However, a rare gem that combines muscle car performance with family-friendly practicality is the 1973 Chevelle SS 454 wagon. By 1973, the muscle car era was winding down. Stricter emissions regulations and rising insurance costs have taken their toll on high-performance vehicles. The Chevelle itself had undergone a radical redesign, sporting a controversial new body style with larger, federally mandated 5 miles per hour bumpers. Many enthusiasts wrote off this generation, but Chevrolet had one last trick up its sleeve. The 1973 Chevelle SS 454 wagon kept the muscle car dream alive for practical-minded enthusiasts. Chevrolet produced approximately 1,500 SS wagons that year. But here's where things get interesting. Only about 70 of these were equipped with the legendary 454 cubic inch big block V8. Under the hood, this 7.4 liter behemoth was a shadow of its former self, thanks to new emissions equipment. However, it still cranked out a respectable 245 horsepower and a tire shredding 375 pound-foots of torque. The 454 SS wagon came standard with a three-speed automatic transmission, perfect for lazy cruising with the family. However, for the true enthusiast, Chevrolet offered an ultra-rare four-speed manual option. Inside, the SS wagon was pure, 70s cool. High back bucket seats, a center console, and simulated wood grain trim created an upscale feel. The rear cargo area could be equipped with an optional rear-facing third-row seat, Perfect for the kids or brave adults who didn't mind a bit of exhaust fume on their road trip. So, why are these wagons so rare today? Well, most buyers in 1973 weren't looking for a high-performance family hauler. The few that were built were often used as intended. Daily drivers subjected to years of family abuse. Many fell victim to rust, neglect, or were simply scrapped when more efficient options came along. Number 4. 1970 Buick Estate with 455 Big Block when you think of Buick, images of comfortable cruisers and luxurious land yachts might come to mind. But in 1970, Buick decided to inject a healthy dose of muscle into its lineup, creating one of the most powerful and overlooked wagons of the era, the 1970 Buick Estate with the 455 Big Block V8. It was a one-year wonder. In 1970, the Estate Wagon was built on GM's B-Body platform, shared with performance legends like the Chevelle SS. This gave the estate a sportier stance and handling characteristics than you'd expect from a full-size wagon. Buick comes with a 455 cubic inch V8 engine. This massive 7.5 liter engine was the only option available for the 1970 estate wagon, and it was a monster. Churning out 370 horsepower and a pavement wrinkling 510 pound foot of torque, this engine could propel the nearly 5,000 pound wagon from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 8.5 seconds. Impressive figures for a family hauler of its time. Its unique design set the Buick 455 apart from other big blocks of the era. Buick engineers focused on low end torque rather than high RPM horsepower, creating an engine that delivered smooth, effortless acceleration perfect for a luxury wagon. The 455 was also known for its relatively quiet operation despite having four carburetors feeding its massive appetite for fuel. Inside, the estate wagon was pure Buick luxury. Power windows, air conditioning, and a wood grain dashboard created an upscale atmosphere. The massive cargo area could be equipped with a rear-facing third row seat, expanding capacity to eight passengers. Buick produced just over 20,000 estate wagons for the 1970 model year making it relatively rare even when new. Today, finding one in good condition is a challenge, as many were used up and discarded after years of family service. Those who survive are highly prized by collectors who appreciate luxury, practicality, and muscle car performance. Number three, 
1969 Dodge Polara with 440 big block. Lurking in the shadows of Mopar history is a lesser-known beast that combined family-friendly practicality with serious muscle. The 1969 Dodge Polara wagon with the 440 big blocks. The Polara was Dodge's full-size offering, and it was a massive vehicle in wagon form. But Dodge wasn't content with just offering a boring family hauler. They decided to stuff one of their most potent engines under the hood, creating a sleeper that could surprise unsuspecting muscle car owners at stoplights. This wagon's heart was the legendary 440 cubic inch Magnum V8. This 7.2 liter engine was known for its smooth power delivery and impressive torque. The Polara wagon produces a respectable 375 horsepower and a stump pulling 480 pound foot of torque. Remember, this was in an era before strict emissions regulations neutered performance engines. What makes the 440-equipped Polara wagon truly special is its connection to law enforcement. This same powertrain was used in the famous California Highway Patrol CHP pursuit vehicles. Imagine a family wagon with the same muscle as a high-speed police cruiser. The 440 Magnum engine was famously understressed, meaning it could take a beating and keep on ticking. This made it perfect for both police duty and family road trips. Despite the Polara wagon's considerable size and weight, the 440 could propel it from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 9 seconds. Not too shabby for a vehicle that could haul a family of six and all their luggage. The Dodge Polara came with heavy-duty suspension, upgraded brakes, and a dual exhaust system, ensuring it performed as well as it looked. Inside, the Polara wagon was all about space and comfort. Wide bench seats, ample legroom, and a cavernous cargo area made it perfect for long family trips. Optioned correctly, you could even get amenities like power windows and air conditioning, luxuries in the late 1960s. Number 2. 1957 Fuel Injected Nomad The 1957 Fuel Injected version, affectionately known as the Fuely Nomad, was already a stunning vehicle. With its sleek, forward-leaning B-pillars, wraparound rear glass, and distinctive chrome trim. It was the perfect blend of practicality and style, a wagon that looked more like a work of art than a family hauler. However, Chevrolet decided to take things further by offering something revolutionary under the hood. In 1957, the Rochester Ramjet fuel injection system was cutting-edge technology, more commonly found in high-performance sports cars than family wagons. Chevrolet offered this system on its new 283 cubic inch V8, creating an engine that produced an even 283 horsepower, achieving the magical one horsepower per cubic inch milestone that was a big deal in the 1950s. This fuel-injected 283 V8 offered improved throttle response, better fuel distribution and more consistent performance compared to carbureted engines. In the lightweight Nomad, this engine could propel the wagon to 60 miles per hour in around 7.7 seconds, sports car territory in the 1950s. The Fuely Nomad was so incredibly rare. Out of the roughly 6,500 Nomads produced in 1957, it's estimated that only about 100 were equipped with the fuel-injected engine. Most buyers opted for the more familiar and less expensive carbureted V8s making the Fuely Nomad a true unicorn in the classic car world. Inside, the Nomad was pure 50s Americana, two-tone upholstery, a stylish dash with a horizontal speedometer, and plenty of chrome accents created an upscale feel. The two-door wagon layout provided a good balance of style and practicality, with a decent-sized cargo area accessed through a unique rear tailgate. Number 1. Belvedere and Coronet 4 Speed Wagons At the top of our list, we have not one but two rare muscle wagons that represent the holy grail of high-performance family haulers the Plymouth Belvedere and Dodge Coronet wagons equipped with 383 V8 engines and four-speed manual transmissions. In the mid-1960s, both Plymouth and Dodge offered their mid-size wagons with a potent combination that would make any muscle car enthusiast drool. The star of the show was the 383 cubic inch V8 engine. This big block motor was a staple of Mopar's performance, and is known for its strong bottom end and impressive torquey output. In these wagons, the 383 was tuned to produce 300 horsepower and a hefty amount of torque. Both of them were equipped with a four-speed manual transmission. You read that right. A family wagon with a four-on-the-floor shifter. The combination of the big block V8 and the four-speed manual created a driving experience unlike any other wagon of the era. These four-speed, 383 equipped wagons were incredibly rare. 
while exact production numbers are hard to come by, it's estimated that fewer than 100 of these cars were ever built, spanning from 1964 to 1972. One notable example is the 1971 Dodge Coronet Crestwood Wagon. This particular year is especially desirable due to its aggressive front-end styling, reminiscent of its Charger cousin. Inside, these wagons were typical of Mopar B-bodies of the era. Bench seats were standard, but bucket seats were an option for those who wanted a sportier feel. The Plymouth Belvedere and Dodge Coronet wagons with the 383 V8 and 4-speed manual represent the ultimate expression of the American muscle wagon. They embody an era when performance wasn't limited to two-door coupes and when the family car could double as a weekend warrior at the drag strip. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.